Hey guys, this is my Chaos 20 status effect slash melee build for Clawbringer and Stabomancer. Alright, so let's get into it. First, uh, a little bit of melee damage. We like that. Movement speed. It's great for moving around while your statuses are going. Melee attack speed. Stack them more. And we also cap this for the status effect status duration, of course. That status effects are most of our damage. Melees are still nice, but that status is just... I mean, you can see the health bars just melt away. So we take... Damage dealt based on movement speed. That's why we take this. So you can run around while your statuses are going. Uh, this is optional. I like it for mobbing. So I take it because that first melee hit, you know, is going to be a guaranteed crit from a skill here. So you're kind of able to one shot melee things while you're just mobbing and like, you know, chaos 20 and stuff. So I like it. But if you don't, you could put the points into something like fire rate if that's your thing or just finish off this and then have one more point for any of these over here but anyway uh yep guaranteed crit we take that and whenever the fate maker applies a status effect to an enemy the effect enemy takes increased damage from all sources that's going to be uh with the class mod we're at 10 percent normally it's six percent per status so that's a massive debuff i'm pretty sure this applies to all your teammates too because it says all sources so you're useful to team and you will just you know melt once you get all those status effects applied uh, shoot and sprint and evasion. It's good. One point wonder. We take it. Uh, three points. When Fate Maker applies a status effect, chance to spread it. So the spread isn't as good. Like, that's not what we take it for. We take it for the if there's no enemy, you'll apply a different status effect to the initial enemy. So it lets us stack up all those statuses so much quicker and get that debuff applied. Uh, critical hit to increase damage dealt. This is probably one of the best damage buffs in the game for just like a one point for five percent right because it max stacks uh, it's it's 0.2 percent per point so five five is one 25 stacks yeah five percent total damage up and when we're in our action skill which is going to give us guaranteed crits this is just going to fill right because our status effects are critting in this game so 25 percent damage up you know for our melee which our melee damage scales our status effects so that's why we want some melee damage because, yeah, it, our status effect damage is based upon the melee crit's damage. So when we're in the action skill, everything's critting, which means everything's applying a status effect with a chance to apply two. So you just get every status up like crazy. And then uh, this is, it does not help our melee, but it helps us for mobbing. Like, you know, we all know how many flyers there are in this game. So when enemies are flying, you want to shoot them. You know, it gives us some ranged options, right? Okay, over here uh, in Clawbringer, I take the one point just to get the bonus fire damage, just to have a chance to apply that fire status for I'm using for when I'm using any weapon, right? We just take that. Uh, then for, you know, we're scaling. Melee damage is great for us. So we take bonus lightning, uh, and it also makes our melee always apply lightning, meaning it's always applying in that status. So you have a chance to apply up to three status effects on a melee if everything goes right, which is absurd because that's... A 30% debuff with our class mod. And then probably the best uh, the best thing in the Clawbringer tree right here is an elemental aura boost. So class mod's boosting it to 28% elemental damage across the board for you and your entire team. So we're pretty useful in a team uh, having this 28% and there's not many Clawbringers, I don't think. So, you know, when you're bringing these... It's a lot of damage to the team, you know, like Spore Warden brings that 108% damage debuff, but then we're bringing this, which should also stack on top of it. Anyway, as for gear, I prefer the Snake Stick because it spawns the Hydras, right? And they're going to shoot off your melee damage, which is important because then when those Hydras hit and crit, they are proccing this too. So then you're spreading even more statuses all around. And then with Contagion, everything's going to be hit with status effects for mobbing. I really enjoy this. Uh, on it, I would prefer on action skill, elemental damage is increased because that's going to, you know, increase whatever melee weapon you have. Uh, it's going to increase its damage. It's going to increase the damage of your status effects, right? All your elemental stuff. And we're kind of playing around the action skill, waiting for that to come up to really deal our damage against any bosses anyway. And you can mob without it, but so yeah, that's an option. Another option is, uh, I've enjoyed the Twin Soul, or, uh, yeah, yeah, the Twin Soul here. 
for the melee attacks increased status effect damage. That is, I mean, you can see I use that on both melee weapons. It's just 30% damage up effect for us. And then Warrior increases our melee damage, which is going to scale the damage of our status effects because more damage. Uh, I've not gotten it a uh, chaotic one with anything that's usable but uh, any annoying that uh, probably the worst is the on spell cast increase element and that's only usable if it's the same element so the spell cast is a 30% damage up uh, for the weapons on action skill start melee damage is increased by 40% is good or you can get the all elemental damages increased by 30% or something uh, again the spell cast ones aren't great but you can settle you know Especially when you're just starting. Rings. Melee damage. Yeah. Th these rings are nothing special. I just take melee damage and melee crit damage. Uh, with damaging bosses. Doubles effectiveness. Ideally I'd actually probably get like a second one of those. Uh, but when war does not fill it's also not bad. Shield. Okay. Uh, the shield. I've been struggling to try to find one that works. But this is always a go to. Uh, if your shield's broken, you're going to deal 100% increased damage to nearby enemies. That applies to our melees, our statuses, everything. So you're just going to sling and, you know, something pops your shield, just go invis. Or sometimes enemies have little novas or melee effects that will pop your shield even when you're invis. So you just get to annihilate everything. When this goes up, you're just going to kill everything. And it also seems to help you get second wins because uh, we obviously can't go into our action skills. So we're not critting. So that's... Yeah, that helps a lot, I think, because it counts our shields as being down. This class mod's insane. Uh, Stabomancer power, which is what we want here. We want as much Stabomancer power because it increases the duration by the percent of power that you have uh, while invis. So this one in particular uh, comes with the plus two to the status effect debuff, plus one to this, and plus two to the damage aura. Uh, yeah. Uh, the actual affixes are trash here, right? I would want all damage, melee damage, and, like, status damage. I'm not exactly sure, but something like that. But the legendary perk, total critical hit chance is reduced, is great for us. Because we're basically not critting anyway, like, or at least not meaningful enough. Crits while not invis, and while invis, we're guaranteed crits. So that's just a 50% critical hit damage boost when in our action skill. Uh, this amulet, uh, insane. Uh, dark magic damage is not the best here. Uh, whatever element you have here, you would ideally want your melee weapon to be that element. You know, whether it's frost or uh, dark magic, it doesn't matter. Just, you would ideally want to match these. I just haven't gotten one yet. Uh, and this amulet then comes with plus 50% status effect damage. So it rolled damage fits a lot for us. And then whenever you cast a spell, reduce your remaining action skill cooldown. This is what we use to keep our... Uh, our from the shadows up. Yeah, well, that's what we use to keep it up enough. So, uh, in order to do that, we have to have a spell that we can spam out. So we take the arcane bolt because uh, when you throw this thing and it crits, it reduces its cooldown even more. So you can see its cooldown is already, you know, like five four seconds. So then if you throw a crit on top of that, it also means when we're in our action skill, you can throw it endlessly because our we always crit. So it just instantly gets its cooldown back. So you can just be blasting it at range and it really helps our damage because spell damage can proc this and cause a melee weapon to fall, applying all your statuses and stuff. Uh, again, enchanted for while action skills active, increase elemental damage. Yeah. Uh, so I guess lastly, our points. We don't need any decks. We take no decks here because we don't care about crit chance. This is just the uh, the 10 from default and then the uh, the plus 10 from myth rank. Uh, strength, we started as village idiot so that we could have the crit damage. Because 47.5% crit damage, that's insane. We're considering all of our damage is crits. Uh, this spell cooldown, uh, it's just 10 points from myth. We don't take anything into it. It's just 10 myth points and then the one for uh, a passive, I think. Or maybe I put one point in. I'm not sure. Either way, it's not needed. Uh, we cap wisdom for status effect damage. So basically, we're capping wisdom and strength. That's pretty much it. And we take a couple points of attunement with the remaining stuff. Just because uh, this con is all from myth. Yeah. That's the build. It works really 